Hey there, how you doing today? This is your devotional reading. Today is February 13th. It's from the book called From the Heart. And the title is Led by the Spirit. Isaiah 49 verse 16 is the text. It says, see, I have inscribed you on the palms of my hands. There are two courses of action which we may pursue. One leads us away from God and shuts us out of his kingdom. And in this path are in envying, strife, murder, and all evil deeds. The other course of action we are to follow and in its pursuance will be found joy, peace, harmony, and love. It is the love that glowed in the bosom of Jesus, which we most need. And when it is in the heart, it will reveal itself. Can we have the love of Jesus Christ in the heart and that love not go out to others? It cannot be there without testifying that it is there. It will reveal itself in the words, in the very expression of the countenance. And here Ellen White is talking about her oldest son. She says, when our eldest son in whom we had the brightest hopes and upon whom we expected to lean and whom we had solemnly dedicated to God was taken from us, when we had closed his eyes in death and mourned in great sorrow because of our affliction, then there came a peace into my soul that was beyond description, that was past understanding. I could think of the morn of the resurrection. I could think of the future when the great life giver will come and break the fetters of the tomb and call forth the righteous dead from their dusty beds when he will release the captives from their prison houses that then our son will be among the living ones again. In this, there was a peace, there was a joy, there was a consolation that was beyond description. <coughs> Excuse me. When Christ left the world, he committed a work into our hands while here he himself carried his work forward. But when he ascended to heaven, his followers were left to take it up where he left it. Others took up the work where the disciples left it, and so it has been carried on until now we have the work to do in our own time. We do not have to walk alone. We can carry all our sorrows and griefs, troubles and trials, afflictions and cares, and pour them into the ear that is open to hear of one who is pleading before the Father the merits of his own blood. He is pleading his wounds, my hands, my hands. I have graven thee upon the palms of my hands. He offers the wounded hands to God and his petitions are heard and swift angels are sent to minister to fallen men and women to lift up and to sustain. Hope you have a wonderful day today. Live from the heart.